time. I have a point of view, and I think it speaks for many of the people here. Not only me, because I have a motel. How do you feel? Uh, I hope they are close to me. Let's have some water. Let's have water, please. Any special questions? Is that $3,000 bounty on the shark in cash or check? <laughs> I don't think that's funny at all. I'm sorry. All right, all right. Uh, that's private business between you, fisherman, and Mrs. Kentner. Martin, would you please? Chief Brody. Uh, I, just, uh, I just want to tell you what we're planning so far. What about the beaches, Chief? We're going to put on a summer the extra summer deputies as soon as possible. And then we're gonna try and use uh, shark spotters on the beach. Are you going to close the beaches? Yes, we are. We're also planning to bring in some experts from the Oceanographic Institute on the mainland. Only 24 hours. I didn't agree to that. Only 24 hours. this bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. It's a bad fish. Not like going down the pond and chasing bluegills or tommy cots. This shark, swallow you whole. Shaking, tenderizing, down you go. Now we gotta do it quick. That'll bring back the tourists. That'll put all your businesses on a paying basis. But it's not gonna be pleasant. I value my neck a lot more than 3,000 bucks, Chief. I'll find him for three, but I'll catch him and kill him for 10. And you gotta make up your minds. You wanna stay alive and ante up? You wanna play it cheap? Be on welfare the whole winter. I don't want no volunteers. I don't want no mates. There's too many captains on this island. $10,000 for me by myself. For that, you get the head. Tail, the whole damn thing. Thank you very much, Mr. Clint. We'll, uh, we'll take it under advisement. Mr. Mayor, Chief, ladies and gentlemen. Holly, listen to me. We've got some roadblock signs outside. Now, you, you, you gotta get somebody to help us. Yeah, get, them, get those roadblock signs out on the highway. Because we've got more people down here than we can handle. Yeah? What are you doing out there? These are your people. Go and talk to them. Those aren't my people. They're from all over the place. Do you see all the license plates out in the parking lot? Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey. I'm all by myself out there. Um, what happened to the extra help we're supposed to That's have? not until the 4th of July. Between now and then, it's you and me. Uh, you know those eight guys in the fantail launch out there? Yeah? Well, none of them are gonna get out of the harbor alive. Well, Annie, that's what I'm talking about. You know their first names. Talk to those clowns. Everyone seems to be having a really good time today. Tell me about it. Polly, I'll get back to you. Listen, can you tell me how I could find Chief Brody? Who are you? Matt Hooper. I'm from the uh, Oceanographic Institute. Oh, for Christ's sakes, you're the guy we called. I'm Brody. I'm Brody. Oh, oh I'm very glad to meet you. Yeah, I'm glad to meet you, Listen, too. Listen, I know you got a lot on your hands right now, but... Uh, what can we do for you? Well, I think the best thing for me to do is to uh, see the remains of the first victim, the girl on the beach. Okay, fine. Just bear with me, will you? Sure. Thanks. Well, let's show Mr. Hooper our uh, accident here. Uh, victim identified as Christine Watkins, female Caucasian. Yeah, uh -huh. here's the way we have it. Probable boating accident. Yeah. All right. The height and weight of the victim can only be estimated from the partial remains. The torso has been severed in mid-thorax. 
There are no major organs remaining. May I have a glass of water, please? Right arm has been severed above the elbow with massive tissue loss in the upper musculature. Thank you very much. Partially denuded bone remaining. This was no boat accident. Did you notify the Coast Guard about this? No. It was only local jurisdiction. The left arm, head, shoulders, sternum, and portions of the rib cage are intact. Do not smoke in here. Thank you very much. This is what happens. It indicates the non-frenzy feeding of a large squalus, possibly Angemanus or Asurus glaucus. Now, the enormous amount of tissue loss prevents any detailed analysis. However, the attacking squalus must be considerably larger than any normal squalus found in these waters. Didn't you get on a boat and check out these waters? No. Well, this is not a boat accident. It wasn't any propeller. It wasn't any coral reef. And it wasn't Jack the Ripper. It was a shark. Drives the boat, Chief. Stop playing with yourself, Hooper. Slow ahead, if you please. You heard him, slow ahead. I can go slow ahead. Come on down and chump some of this shit. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Shut off that engine. Gotta get a good shot at that porker's head. Gather. 
<laughs> Coming. Hooper, get clear of the barrel. Hooper! Tie it up, will you? Your turn, Quinn. Hooper, where are you? Hooper, hurry it up now, tie it on. Hurry it up, he's coming straight for it. Don't screw it up now. Don't wait for me. Come on, Hooper, come on, hurry up, tie it on! Now, now. Kill it, quick. Kill it! Now! What exactly can you do with these things of yours? Well, I think I can pump 20 cc's of strychnine nitrate into them, if I can get close enough. You get this little needle through his skin? No, I can't do that. But if I can get him close enough to this cage, I think I could get him in the mouth or that the eye. shark put that cage to pieces. You got any better suggestions?
break something. Break something. Got it? All right. That's it. That's it. That's it. Bring it up. It's coming. Slow now. Slow. Slower. Slower.
with us. Keep kicking. <laughs> I used to hate the water. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> 